open up hello hello good evening lovelies how is everyone I hope everyone's doing well welcome to tonight's live stream um tonight we have quite a bit of things to go through i'm just double checking on this side that you can hear me if you can hear me give me a thumbs up or leave a hi leave a hey let us know where you're watching well, hey pam how are you doing how is the ottawa area tonight it is humid over on this end but beautiful so i have no complaints glad you can hear me well uh bum, 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 bum. yeah it's it's like it's not insanely hot it's just really humid it's like so weird but I'm not going to complain about it because I'd much rather this than cold. So that's that. All right, lovely. So in tonight's live stream, we have quite a few things to go through. We have a, something that I discovered. Actually, two things. that One is a discovery and the second one is maybe a discovery. We're not quite sure yet. It's still kind of in the play. Uh, we have a personal haul unboxing there's this and a few more things and then we're also i'm planning on trying that doll lash thing that we saw on studio 1886 do you know what i'm talking about it's where they do the mascara and they do a different technique with the kathy cat mascara and um they do like this pinchy thing with tweezers so i'm hoping i don't like wheeze my eyelashes out but we're gonna try that so we're going to do all of that tonight that is the plan nelson's away um he is uh playing badminton tonight um which is exciting and fun kids are already asleep it's great my sister-in-law's family's out you might end up hearing them and again if you guys hear screaming don't worry the kids are safe they just don't like going to bed because there's so much fun things happening um for my my niece and nephew so Anywho, let's get right into tonight's live stream. For everyone who already just gave a thumbs up, thank you so much. And if you guys are brand new on this channel, make sure you do hit the subscribe button so you get our weekly videos and also uh, my weekly live stream. I, you know what I noticed the other day? I was like, I always say we or our. But the funny thing is, I am a one-man show or a one-person show. I do all my filming, editing, and all that stuff. So I don't know why I say we. Me! I don't know why, but anyways, um, yeah, in, in the sense of like creating this stuff. Hi, Lisa, welcome. So glad you're here. Hello, Liz. Welcome to tonight's live stream. Hope everyone's doing well. Any fun plans for the weekend, guys? Um, for us, this is the last weekend before my sister-in-law is heading back out to California that we don't know when we're going to see each other again. So we might do a bit like a girl's brunch tomorrow. We haven't fully decided yet. We're going to see how tired she is. We spent the entire day at Wonderland yesterday. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. It was like epically exhausting, but it was so much fun. Perfect day for it. So yes, really long time. I have missed you, but I'm so glad that you're able to come on tonight. Um, so yeah, okay. So first off, I don't know if you guys saw on Instagram or on Facebook, I was a bit heading to Port Perry. Nice. Oh, you have a sister. Wait, Port Perry. That's out towards my way, isn't it? I think so. I think so. Uh, Port. I think Port Perry is like east of Scarborough. I could be wrong though. I'm often mad. Oh no. No, 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 maybe it's on the west side. Anywho, enjoy safe travels. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, yep, that. This is one of the discoveries I want to share with you. So I got a really ugly steam burn the other day. I was making, I've been cooking up a storm. Like every day I have been cooking like crazy. Thank goodness I love to cook, so it's an okay thing. But sometimes when I get really, get really stressed out, I become a little bit absent-minded. And I burnt myself on my rice cooker out of all things. The steam was coming out the top. I didn't pay attention. I went to grab something and boom. And oh my gosh, did it ever hurt. So thankfully, I have this. This is the empty one. The other one's still downstairs. But this is my empty one. Um, This is the Jeju Aloe Ice Soothing Gel. And I had this in the fridge. And oh my gosh, guys. You know how they say that this uses this goes really well for sunburns and stuff? This even worked on my steam burn. Like, it just gave me a little bit of edge relief i don't have the hexa shield um i think there was one for like the antibiotic one i don't have that one in. i thought i ordered it but i didn't have it but i do have another antibiotic um uh um antibiotic which we call it antibiotic um ointment that i use but yeah no uh which, which hexa shield one are you thinking about specifically pam yeah it was so painful like i don't 
cry very often for stuff like this. I cry about other things. Puppies, dogs, kids, senior citizens cry all about those things. But pain-wise, I'm pretty good about. But yeah, I cried with this one. This, this one was sore. However, this actually looks a lot better. So what I did was, besides using the the Jeju, I also remembered from the wonderful training that Avon also gives us about Sika, the tiger grass. And so I decided that, you know, after I let it kind of uh, relaxed for one day, the antibiotic one, yeah. I thought I ordered the antibiotic one from the Hexa Shield, but I couldn't find it in my medicine cabinet, so I guess I didn't. Yeah, I'm, I probably should have that one on hand. Um, because I'm always losing my, 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 uh, my, uh, like the, the, like the polysporin type ointments. Yes, I know. Aloe is so amazing. This stuff is so great. I have so many containers of this now because I need it everywhere. Um, but then I started using this on it. And what happened was because it looked like it wanted to almost bubble. At night, I put this on before I added a little bit more of the aloe. And it didn't make it bubble. So what's tiger grass is, it's, it was, um, I believe it was used like for thousands of years. And it was um, something that uh, is great for wounds and injured skin that they noticed that the like, tigers were using that's why it's called tiger grass so i was like you know what let's try it i am desperate so let's try it and i did and it seemed to have helped so i've been using i've been using this regularly on it like this doesn't even hurt anymore and it's been what four days maybe five days now so i'm i'm so happy with this another reason for me to keep buying this <laughs> Yeah, you know what? The deep recovery cream might also work. I think that one also has the Sika in it as well. I'll have to double check. But yeah, Sika for even something like this, amazing balls. I think it worked. So and it it didn't hurt any at all when I put it on. So yay for that. All right, so that was my one discovery. Second discovery, kind of in the making as well, is remember how I was talking about that I've been getting insane head pimples again? Oh, sorry, guys. I'm on my daughter's desk. Nathaniel and Geneva are still sleeping in my office, so that's why I have like a slightly wobblier desk here. And so I can't put weight on my thing because it tilts you guys and it's like earthquake on your end. So sorry for that. Um, so I've been getting the head pimples back, right? So I was like doing some reading and I was so frustrated because the last thing I want is to go through another round of those antibiotics. I've been on antibiotics for like six months. That's half a year on antibiotics. That's way too long to be on antibiotics in my mind. And um, so I am getting a couple of little pimples again here on my face, but nothing ridiculous. But on my scalp, it was insane. Like on this one little area here, I had counted, I had like 15. It's disgustingly painful. So I was like, okay. I'm going to try a bunch of different things. So um, I'm washing my hair differently now. And um, the other thing is I'm rinsing a lot longer my hair because one of the things is that they're saying that it could also be product buildup. I haven't been able to use my, my ex, you know, like my, I can't, I can't even think of the word right now, but my exfoliating rubber thing. I haven't been able to use that because my scalp has been too sore. So I've just been really gently washing my hair. But I have not been tying my hair up. Thank you, Scott Masasha. Yes, exactly. I have not been tying my hair up for like three or four days now. And I think that's made a difference because these have almost all completely healed. Like before, I couldn't even touch it because it was so bruised. And I am actively telling myself, do not pick the scabs. Do not pick the scabs. Do not pick the scabs. Because when I get stressed out, I pick scabs. And um, yeah, it has improved so much. So no hair tying up. I have been having my hair down or I've just been gently braiding or twisting it like this just to kind of get it off my face. And that seems to have been really, really, really helping the scalp pimples. So I want to keep trying that course for a while and I'll update you guys again next week to see how it goes. Because like, seriously guys, I have been in so much discomfort from those head pimples, but I've been really hesitant to go back on another round of antibiotics. I just, I just don't want to do it. Excuse me one second. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, I just really don't want to do it. So, eh, fingers crossed, this will work. All right, tea time. What's everyone drinking tonight? I have my Love You mug from Feeny, who is my mentor. Drinking black tea. Oh, last night I had Sleep Fairy Tea for the first time by Tealish. Oh my gosh, it's delicious the sleep fairy tea uh for those who've been selling Avon for a while you would have known that uh we actually carried the tealish brand for a while unfortunately we stopped carrying it don't know why it makes me sad but that's okay the tealish brand is still around um and i got a bag of the sleep fairy tea it is so good first time ever trying it it's like 
a little bit of uh, chamomile. Um, it has a, almost like a, a, a vanilla y taste to it. Oh, so good. Anyhow, so I slept really well last night, as you can probably tell by how hyper I am tonight. Ah, yay! All right, so that was discovery number two. Wow, we are rolling through this tonight. How, welcome everyone who just came on. Welcome to tonight's live stream. Leave a hi, leave a hey, let us know where you're watching from. And as always, guys, if you have any questions about anything that I'm going through today, I would do my very best to answer you. Um, and if I don't know the answer, I'm sure someone will pipe in too. So thanks. <laughs> okay, so next thing is this. I got this, and I'm always super delayed about opening this. This is the 2000, uh, 2022 recognition program. This is the charm that I earned for achieving PC. PC stands for President's Club here at Avon Canada and that means you have a total sales of I believe at least 10,000 um 10,000 in a year. So let's open this baby up. So you got a beautiful little card. Isn't that pretty? I really like the the gold and the white and the tropical feel to it. So yay, thank you Avon and check out this charm. It's really cute. I think it's a charm. It should be a charm. It should be the bag charm. I hope it is anyways, because that's what I was looking forward to. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Opening it up, opening it up. How cute is this? Oh my gosh. It's like a little coach style type bag. It's like one of those like old style carry bags. I think this was like very, this to symbolize something like the, um, the Avon bag they would have carried around going door to door. Isn't it adorable? It is so pretty. This will be added to my collection. Thank you. Carpet bag. Is it because of the material that they used to use to make it? That's why they called it a carpet bag? That's such a cute name. So yeah, so thank you Avon for that. Love it, love it, love it. Pam, you must have already received yours already. And people in the States, do you get also something along the same or anybody uh if if anybody's watching from any other part of the world when you hit certain tiers do you also get like little charms or little recognitions please do share we would love to know because it's always interesting to learn what happens in avon worldwide it's really cute right the little bag it's super cute and we actually got like a little charm bracelet so you can add it to add to it now next thing is do you guys see this <laughs> i am not filthy <laughs> well i might be but this is, I did a swatch, so you did see on Wednesday, I released my video on these three babies here. This is the um, FMG Rouge, I can't ever say it, Cashmere Rouge Lacquer. I want to say lacquer. I think Nelson was saying that lacquer is the proper way to say it. I don't think it sounds as Frenchy, but I think it is lacquer. Uh, but anyways, I just want to show you guys how long it lasts for. I have showered several times, obviously, since filming it, and it is still there. So this lasts for a really long time. So these, if you haven't yet, make sure you do watch that video because I tested the lipstick out for 14 hours. It lasted through two meals, several drinks, a nap, and yes, you're hearing this correctly, an attempt at saving a baby raccoon. <laughs> it lasts so long. And the only way I got it off was this, using the waterproof lip and eye makeup remover. And that's how I removed it because it is lasting such a long lasting product. Plus the clear gloss. I'll show you it real quick. So this is the doe footed color side. But then the clear gloss itself, the clear gloss doesn't dry. It's not even, it's not really called gloss. It's called like a top, like a, a clear coat. And so it's like, um, like that type of applicator, uh, a brush applicator. And it doesn't really dry, but it is super, super moisturizing. I did not feel like my lips were drying out some similar to sometimes when you're using a, um, like a more matte lipstick. Wow, I'm super sweaty. Yeah, <laughs> but it was really nice. I only, I don't know, throughout the day. I did, I think I applied it twice throughout the day after each meal. But because like I ate, wiped everything off. Um, but it felt really, really, really good. Even by the end of the day, it still felt, it didn't feel like, you know, my, my lips didn't feel like a desert. Basically, it didn't feel like burny dry. So I actually really enjoyed using this particular product and I loved how long it lasted. This is gonna be perfect for let's say a beach day or if you have a super busy day or um, 
if you are in a situation where you wear a mask, I mean, I still wear a mask indoors, so this would be perfect, perfect, perfect for that. It is mask proof. Um, and then also for dancers or performers, this is great because it won't transfer on your costumes if you need to do a quick change, right? So <laughs> dancers, this is great. And it comes in six different shades. So I really, really love this product. It's really, 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 really nice. And it's super, super pigmented. And Lisa, I don't know if you watched this one yet, but this is the color that you recommended here for me to try, the Pink Fection. Isn't it adorable? It's like this really cute bubblegum pink. Right? It's really, really cute. So the only thing is, though, guys, when you apply this, what happened? I'm going to wipe it off for now, though. When you apply it, when it first goes on, it feels like a really nice lip gloss. Okay? Not sticky, not tacky. But as it dries, it doesn't dry down completely, completely. It'll dry down to the point where there's no transfer. However... If you don't put the clear coat on top of it, for me personally, it drove me nuts because I did a half lip. I did half a lip uh, with the clear coat and half a lip without the clear coat. Watch the video, guys. Uh, but the, the side that I didn't have the clear coat, my lips actually kind of stuck together. Like, <laughs> well, the other side was just like, doo -doo 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 -doo. so it was insane, like the the, the texture. So it, it was it was quite humorous on my end when I was like chat talking or like and things like that so you do need to use a clear coat I would not recommend just using the pigmented like the color side on its own all right so that's like it unless you want sticky lips and that's perfectly fine and even without the clear coat to seal it there was transfer but it was minimal transfer um it, yeah it was minimal transfer but it's still transferred. So it depends on what you like. The things you put yourself... <laughs> I know, right? But it's so much fun. I love doing stuff like this because I'm like, oh, what about in this situation? What about in that situation? Hmm. And like that day when I did the food test, I ate pizza. So it was like messy. <laughs> I'm also a bit of a slob. <laughs> and so, yeah, I was, I was like... <laughs> yeah, so it, it stayed on. It was so good. So... Do I, 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 if you were looking for something that's super long lasting and pretty much transfer free, this is great. When I first did it, you could see if we watch a video on my white cup, you'll see like the teeny tiniest little bit of, um, of transfer on the clear goat side, but it could be that I just didn't let it dry long enough. So that's it. Yeah. But yeah, these fantastic and the shades are so beautiful. The, beautifully bare i didn't think i liked it at first but once it kind of warmed up on my lips i don't know if that even makes sense it just worked it worked so well and it looks like such a really nice new so make sure you guys do watch that video after this one please and then for everyone who just joined in welcome to tonight's live stream leave a hi leave a hey where you're watching from all right so shall we do the eyelashes first or shall we do the rest of the haul first what would you like uh, I probably won't get the message fast enough because you know what? There's always a bit of a delay when I get the messages, which is kind of weird on my end. So let's do the haul first. So the haul, the haul, the haul. We are doing, so I have three, four, five. Okay, Pam, I am very sorry in advance. I know you say no mention of winter, but I got a pair of winter gloves because I really needed them. So I am going to show you guys. It's not for right now, obviously. It's for a little bit later on. So these are the Hot Paw Gloves. I can't remember exactly what they're called. What's it all called in the name? It's the Fleece Line Ladies Faux Fur Trim Gloves in black. It even has the finger thingy at the tips to make it so that I can use my phone. Although my phone has a stylus, so it's I use that because I get um, I get tension in my forearms and my hands. But these fit so nice. Like this size here, is the small, I want to small medium. I'm pretty sure I got the small medium if it's sized. Anyways, but it fits really nice. It's not overly stiff, so it doesn't feel clunky, which is something I like, but it's going to be waterproof, which is what I desperately needed. I was using like cute little uh, mittens from Roots before and super cute, but not waterproof. So playing with my kids in the snow got cold. So I'm really happy that I did end up getting these ones here. Yeah, this is the size small medium. They are um da -dum bum 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 bum. Let's see. It doesn't say anything about how I can wash this, so I'll have to read up on that later. But honest I honestly I don't wash my gloves very often. I don't know. Very, 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 very rare do I ever wash my gloves. I probably should. Do you guys wash your gloves? And that's it. That's all the talk about winter. And I'm done. <laughs> so yeah, so I got those. 
And then I also got some jewelry. Yay, I got three pieces of jewelry because I felt the need to buy jewelry. Don't know why, but I love jewelry. Well, I know why I love jewelry, but I don't know why I decided to buy more jewelry. And I have even more jewelry coming because I ordered a few more pieces. Okay, so this one here is called the Rose Tone Gold sorry, rose gold tone hoop earrings, if I can speak, and comes in our box. It is sealed, and let's open it up here. I think oops, I think by next week, I'll be back over in my other office. I kind of like it over here, too. I don't know, but this is my room. Nelson's playing badminton, like, pretty much every Friday or every other Friday right now. He was so sore after the last session. <gasps> oh, wow, these are cute, cute, cute. Look at these. I like the size of them. They're big, they're big, but I think like, I like bigger hoops sometimes for certain things, for like certain looks. And my other hoops I find are a little small, uh, but they work for a lot of different looks. So this one, they like a statement hoop. Are they too big? Let's see. Oh, they're cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. I even like it with this top. <gasps> Ooh, I likey likeies. These are cute. I think I got all these in the clearance one. So they'll probably show up in the goodbyes flyer soon, but they have no embellishments or anything. Simple rose gold tone hoops. A classic. <laughs> if I can ever get him in a bath, he doesn't like taking baths. But yes, I agree the new Epsom salts will help him out. You know what also really helps him out? Um, The... um the the not the hexashield one but the footworks arthritis one he likes that one too my mom really likes that one too i know aren't these cute and they're such a good size i really like these love 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 love, love. so th that's one pair i think all my yeah all my jewelry this time around i got were earrings so this is the oh these are cute silvery droplet hoop earrings now this does have a matching um necklace i didn't get the necklace i still find i very rarely wear necklaces I think that it's just I haven't I haven't done it in so long that I'm just not used to the idea of wearing necklaces anymore besides like a small little pendant one and if I wear necklaces I don't really wear earrings so I don't know it's just I wear it but not very often yeah I know you love your hoops you love your hoops but look at these aren't these stunning Oh, these ones here are called the silver droplet hoop earrings. The necklace is really nice. I saw it on a sister wrap and oh my gosh, it is tight. But I love, how, these are really playful. I think these are really, really, really cute. One day, guys, I have to show you my entire earring collection. I'm staring at it from behind the camera. <laughs> it's definitely growing. I might need to get another one. Oh, these are so fun and flirty. Oh, they're really cute. They're super cute. And they're quite light. I'll see if I can get them, Lisa. I'll see if I can still get them. But aren't they adorable? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The little, like, the little silvery droplets, they're just so fun. And they're kind of like musical in my ear. Like, da 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 da. I've been watching a lot of TikTok, and um, there's this one belly dancing one, and this fits the mood. How organized is my display? How do I organize my dis uh, earring display? I will show you guys not today <laughs> i will show you not today oh i hear my niece my niece is home my niece is almost four she's so cute she finally gave me a high five she's been with me here living with me for a week and a half now finally gave me our first high five yesterday she's so shy but she looks like a precious moment doll she's so cute and her brother arlo and, and nathaniel they are eight months apart and they're like best buds it's so funny um, all right, so this is the Cafe Ole Pearly Hoop Earrings. I, Lisa, I think your sister bought these ones. I think. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. But look. Yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Actually, they're bigger than I thought they would be. <gasps> these are cute, too. Can you guys tell I like big earrings? I do like big earrings. I bought studs when, when Nathaniel and Ginevra were babies. I go through the stud phase every time that, oh, yes, please. Thank you very much. These are cute. Uh, but I go through the stud phase because I love my earrings. But then I think my issue is that because I, my sideburns kind of cover <laughs> my earrings, I'm like, what's the point of wearing them if no one can see them? But these are cute too. When I can tie my hair back up again, look how cute these are. These are so cute. 
Yeah, and they're actually, again, really, really lightweight. So I have like a bunch of this style in different colors, but I don't have this chocolate brown shade. So I was like, you know what? Let's get it. All right, so out of the three, which one do you guys like best? Let me know in the comments. Did you like this one here? The ones I'm wearing now, or the other ones I don't remember. I just, oh, yeah. the rose gold tone hoops. Which is your favorite? I think my personal favorite, this one. <laughs> These ones are really cute, really cute. Really, really, really cute. The silver droplet is a fake. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. I think the silver droplet one is definitely my favorite one. Because I think it'll also be really, really versatile. But I'm going to keep these ones on for now. So cute. How long are you staying in Port Perry for, fam? I don't think I've ever been to Port Perry. No. I've, I've probably driven past it going to going to Athens and stuff. You like the ones I wear now? These ones, if you want them, Lisa, I can, might still, I think I can still get them. Because I think I see them in the upcoming brochure, the Goodbyes Flyer. So let me know and I can check availability. But the, they're really cute. They're really light. And they're nice length. Like the other ones I, I have, I feel like are a little bit shorter, but these ones are really cute. Just the weekend. Oh, I hope you have a great trip. It's supposed to be really nice weather. Hot weather, but really nice weather over on this end this weekend. Okay, next item I have in the haul, this one here. This is a personal product that I am trying. Um, I am actually, you know what, the more I read about it, the more excited I am about it. I wrote a quick blog about it already, kind of introducing about the products. So this product here is called the Isanox A New Clinical Revitalized and Reveal Resurfacing Lotion for Body. Whew, mouthful. And um, what I'm excited about about this product here, it does have AHA, and it helps to like clear pores, oh, yeah, like unclog pores, but also it's supposed to help um, exfoliate, which is going to be great for my legs. So my plan for this is, I'm not going to try this quite yet, because I asked a few days ago um, in the community post and on Instagram and stuff for your product suggestions. If there's one Avon product that you want me to try or you would recommend, please leave a comment on what it is and if you haven't done so yet guys leave a comment and i want i'm going to do my very best to try out everything you guys commented uh, and the beauty group on facebook it was it was so fun Svetlana had a huge list for me and i absolutely loved it um caitlin if you're re-watching this later on i did see the sweet honesty comment and i do have a sweet honesty that skin softener i will be trying out and it's for an upcoming video that i'm doing but Pam, for your exfoliating body spray, I'm going to do that one first because I think if I start using this, is not going to show off the beauty of the exfoliating spray to its full capacity. So I'm going to try that and then I will try this on one leg and see where it goes from that. So uh, that's my that's my plan. Now I hope I can stick to that plan. So for this coming week's video, guys, I did already film. I'm in the process of editing, but I, I did a head-to-head -head or a tat -a tat of these two mascaras, which is the Kathy Clat Curl and Flare Mascara and the Cashmere Ultimate Volume Mascara. And as I was actually surprised a little bit. I don't know if I mentioned my surprise in the video, but I was thinking about it. I was a little bit surprised about it, but you're going to have to make sure you stay tuned. Aim is to have the videos out by Wednesday. I know I've been a little bit delayed, guys. I've been super, super, super busy, but I uh, love you guys for all your patience and your wonderful understanding and all of your support as always. So I will be doing this one. I'm going to show it to you, though, because it is featured in the brochure right now in our current book that ends on Tuesday. And so I do want to show you this. I'm going to go over the texture, but I'm going to do the trial itself after I finish doing the exfoliating um the exfoliating sp uh, spray the, the face shop one so here is the AHA resurfacing lotion for body what it's supposed to do is supposed to gently exfoliate and resurface your skin um and and to, as a way to help minimize the buildup of dead skin cells it's supposed to help also visibly improve the texture and tone for more even radiant younger looking skin. I'm giggling because I'm like, oh, for that video, it means I have to shave my legs for two weeks. <laughs> I'm so bad. I'm glad to shave my legs for two weeks. All right, so that's okay too. Um, it's also supposed to be like, has a really light texture, which will be nice. And so it's also free from fragrance, mineral oils, parabens, sulfates, and phthalates. So now, question for you guys. I've been hearing all, like, kind of contradicting things about fragrance in products so like skincare products body care products and uh some people are super against fragrances in your in your in your beauty products and some people are for it i think that it depends on 
what your sensitivities are, right? Because I mean, I think for some people, the the fragrance of a product also gives part of the experience, the overall spa-like experience of a beauty product. So please do share with me. And that's why I always smell the products and I try to explain the smell of the products is because for me, I have a scent sensitivity in the sense that I can't have anything too perfumey. It makes me sneeze. Um, and then I know that people who have like downright scent allergies. So I know that for some people it is very important. And for some people it's part of the overall experience, right? Thankfully, yeah, no, that's great. Yeah, I know. I will often, if something has a really beautiful scent, I will gravitate more towards it. For example, the Isonox gel to oil to milk. Um, or, yeah, gel to oil to milk cleanser. I love that scent. It is so beautiful. I reach for it all the time because in addition to being a really great cleanser, it's just such a relaxing experience when I, when I you know, cl clean my face and I get to smell the product too but there's products that are are really great products but i find it overpowering for example the um the pool party uh foaming hair mask from arctic fox great product but it's just it has a lot of it's just a little bit too strong for me but there's some people who say that you know they don't find that to be overpowering and so i think it is a very personal thing and so fragrance free is i think something that it's kind of like more person to person as opposed to like one of those things that we always have to have in beauty products that's just my 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 humble opinion um but yes okay so but this one here is hypoallergenic dermatologist tested and also fragrance free uh so let's actually open this up oh okay i wasn't expecting that a subtle floral fresh scent yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and like certain scents also makes me like hmm, i don't like, like anything too 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 sweet i like some citrusy but like I don't like anything too, like you say, Lisa, I don't like it to be too strong or pungent either. It's like one of those things. So this, I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was a twist off cap, but here, look at, it's like a squeeze. Now, is it sealed? Okay. I don't know. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. There you go. Oh, it is lighter than I thought. All right, let's give this a little whiff. Okay, so now. It is not scent free, but you can tell that there's no fragrance added to this particular product. And so here's the texture of it. Here, it is really light. I'm gonna avoid my hand just because I don't wanna put anything that could, like my arm here, cause I don't wanna irritate it. But look, at, it is super light. And it does have like a serum-y type texture, like a saying. So it doesn't absorb into your skin right away. I think you have to massage it in a bit. But I am excited to see how this will work on my legs later on. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Now it's cut off. Maybe I also squeezed off a little bit too much. Do I feel anything? Any tingles? Nope. Feels pretty good so far. My skin feels hydrated, which is nice. Okay. So stay tuned. I will be doing a more in-depth full length video on this uh probably a couple weeks in so but if you're looking for this and you want to try it out or you want to read more about it you can either jump onto my the dancing avon lady uh blog so it's the dancing avon lady.ca i have a blog post on this or you can also find it on um our e-star link which is down in my description box if you want to shop through me or if you already have a representative make sure you do shop through their e-star link and you can learn more information about this particular product i am excited to try this one out because my legs need help they need help. I'm going to I'll shave my legs. All right. Final thing for tonight. How's everyone doing? Everyone's doing okay so far? I hope so. So we are going to use. So there is this doll mascara look. It's interesting. I don't know if it's going to be for me as a day-to-day -day mascara look, but I thought it was kind of interesting to try. I've seen the look, but I never really understood the technique on how to achieve it. So what you need is, if you tend to curl your lashes, you're going to need an eyelash curler, okay? The other thing you'll need is your mascara of choice. Final thing you'll need, a pair of tweezers. All right, so with that, let's try it out. So I'm gonna do one side of my lashes, just how I would normally do my lashes, which is a wiggly coat. And then the other side of my lashes, I'm gonna try this doll technique. And so what you're supposed to do is after you put on your mascara while it's still wet, you pinch the hairs together. Now, I don't know how it's gonna work on my lower lashes because I don't have very much lower lashes, but we're still going to try it out and hopefully I won't poke out my eye. No, I'm not going to poke up my eye. I, I exaggerate, guys, if you haven't noticed yet. 
<laughs> yes. So now, bum, bum, bum. okay. So I have my. I'm gonna have my big mirror here because I think I'm gonna need it. I've already curled my lashes once, but I did remember that for this particular mascara, if I curl my lashes right before, it tends to stay a little bit more lifted. So I'm just gonna curl it one more time. Get rid of that eyelash as close to my eyeballs. All right. So, left eye, <coughs> we are going to do the traditional mascara way. So here, another way. So opposite of what we usually try to do separate lashes to make them. I know, right? So that's why it's obviously like, huh? Okay, sure. Let's try. It. I think it's you know how the um the 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 Twiggy era, like 1960s, I believe you said, Pam. They had that like very, almost, they're, they're just kind of, not. they don't look clumpy, but they're very stuck together. Kind of like drawn lashes like you would for a, a, a doll. Yeah, kind of like that. By the way, guys, I have no makeup on my face whatsoever today. Today was just a hardcore creation day for writing. So no mascara or nothing on my face, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I don't know if I love the look, but I'm always interested in trying new techniques. So there it is. Now, question for you. I could probably research this up, but I haven't had time yet, or I don't, don't remember when I have some time. When using a curved wand, do you apply this way with the curve going under like a smile, the curve going upwards like a frown, or this way so it goes along the shape of your eye? I have seen all three. What do you do? Okay, anyways, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just going to apply one coat of mascara. I mean, actually, you know, I'm gonna have to do two coats because I think one coat won't be enough for the look. Do, 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 do. And the good thing about wearing mascara with absolutely no makeup is that you can really see the mascara. Oh, do you see those pimples in my eyebrows? Yes, it is the beginning of that thing I had. I think it's coming back. But that's okay. I'm going to try that sculpt thing for a while longer. Okay, that's one coat being done. Look at the other side. The last way. Okay. Yeah, I've seen all three ways, so I wasn't sure. Uh, does anyone else always open their mouth when doing mascara? I always open my mouth when doing mascara. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I can't help it. It just feels unnatural with my mouth closed. Okay, so one coat done. Actually, oh, what's going on? My right side actually grew some more lashes on the bottom lashes. I have lashes on my bottom lashes, not so you can really tell. I have some lashes on my bottom lashes. That's amazing. Come on. Okay. So now I'm going to do a second coat on my left eye. <laughs> oh, smudged. That's okay. I don't have my spoolie to fix it right now, though. And then finally, one more coat on this eye, and then we gotta go start clamping. Okay. I gotta work fast, gotta work fast, gotta work fast, gotta work fast. Where did I put it? Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, I'm so blind. Oh, there it is. I was like, where are my tweezers? But here they are. But I also put a compact somewhere. I seem to have misplace that how does that happen i don't know okay so now what i'm supposed to do is i'm supposed to pinch my lashes together and press them together do i need a third coat i hope not it'll just feel too heavy and then same thing up here oh my gosh this feels so unnatural they are not sticking come on babies oh there we go there we go there we go uh, I don't know if I... Okay. The problem with this too, guys, I think that 
my lashes are naturally too straight. I'm so scared I'm going to poke my eye. Does this give anybody anxiety to have tweezers so close to your eyebrow, eye eyeballs? Come on. <laughs> I think I just pulled my lashes straight down more so than anything. Oh, this was not a good, not a good one, Jess. Okay, maybe that one needs to be separated into two other ones. Okay. 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 So. <laughs> All right. Let's take a look. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. What do you think? Like, I think the problem with it is that one, my lashes are super straight. So if you're looking at it now, let me bring it a little closer. Whoops. Oh no, you saw my mess. That's my disaster of a mess. Um, but if, you're looking at it close by. You see that the naturally the Kathy Cat mascara, it does separate it, right? However, if you're doing this technique, you do want it to clump together. But my problem is that my lashes are so straight that not only does it kind of brings it together, but also in addition, what it's doing is that it is causing it to straighten down. So then it just looks like my lashes have absolutely no lift. So I think that you would actually need to either have a nat um, like naturally curly lashes to begin with, or you would have to have a lash lift, right? Now the lash lift is something I've been considering for a little while. I'm, I'm not ready to do it yet because I've heard from some other people that they did a lash lift and it, it curled so much that it made them look like they had super short lashes. So, and now the bottom ones, I don't know. I think that my, my bottom lashes, I just don't have enough of it because it's supposed to be like almost like one, two, three, like so. But I couldn't get it to really, oops, what am I doing? What am I doing? To really stay that way. And I don't know if it's that I just need more mascara in order to get it to work. But I think it's like more, making them more wet. Yeah. Like, it wasn't Roxanne who, who demoed it. It was the newer um, Studio 1886 uh, beauty consultant who was doing it. I can't remember her name off the top of my head right now. And hers looked really, it looked really interesting. But, yeah, no, not a good one for me. I mean, I think if you had naturally have longer lashes, uh, not, I mean, sorry, curlier lashes, it worked. But for me, it just kind of made my, my lashes do this. Like just stick straight out. They looked, uh, they are clumped together some, but they just look like chopsticks sticking out of my eyes. Not the look I'm going for, but that's me, right? Uh, I, it might be fun for a certain themed look that you're doing, but again, you'd have to have more, more of a natural lift in your, in your lashes. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't work for me. And that's okay. All right. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, if you have any, it always, yeah, exactly. It's always good to try new things. It's for fun, right? And if you don't try, you never know. So that's why I'm always like, let's give this a try. Let's give that a try. So if there's any makeup hacks or things that you guys want me to try, I'm more than happy to try it out so you guys don't have to or try it out alongside with you if you want to do it alongside with me. Um, but that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys had fun. As always, I always have tons of fun with you guys. And uh, safe weekend, whatever you're doing, whether you're driving across Ontario or wherever you are, or you're kind of having a low-key time at home. I hope you guys have a fabulous, fabulous weekend. And uh, thanks for joining for tonight's haul, plus all my new discoveries and a new makeup hack that personally, unfortunately, didn't work for me, but it might work for somebody else. So, and if you do end up trying it and it worked for you, make sure you do post it up on whether it be Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, um, the only one I don't have is really Snapchat, and tag me because I would love to see how you did it and how it worked for you. Thank you so much for joining us. I love you guys so very, very, very much. And until next time, stay well, stay safe, and stay fantastically kind. Mwah! Good night. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye. Thank you. Yeah, I know. These earrings and these earrings, so nice. The rose goat tongue earrings, I also really, 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 really like because they're just like that nice big statement piece. Yeah. Have a good week, guys. Bye.